Hello, lovely bride. I have a word for you. I'm going to get right to it. I'm having memory issues on the phone. <laughs> okay. 6623, 720 p.m. Uh, is the start time. Yes, it's Matthew 1033, if my eyes are correct. <laughs> this is page one through our sister Casey. This is called On the Rock. I write your words, Lord Jesus Christ. My bride, read with me once again. Luke 8, 13 to 15. They on the rock are they, which when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. And that which fell among thorns are they, which, when they have heard, go forth, and are choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life, and bring no fruit to perfection. But that on the ground, but that on the good ground are they, which in an honest and good heart, having heard the word, keep it, and bring forth fruit with patience. Verse 15 speaks of your heart condition, my beautiful bride. Now look at the red letters of verse 813. They on the rock are they which, when they hear, receive the word with joy, and these have no root, which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. Verse 13 also speaks of the falling away. The truth is plain to see. Look at verse 817, also read letters. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest. Neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. I am revelation and truth. I have continually led my bride to all truth. I gave Casey humor and encouragement every day. One such uplifting message was in her video feed. A visit with freedom, timestamp 157. I led Casey to Genesis 29, 30, Hebrew 157 is loved. A visit with freedom, 157, an eagle. Genesis 29:30 And he went in also unto Rachel and he loved also Rachel more than Leah and served with him yet seven other years There are many scripture to study on love My bride has dug deep into the word and walks in love when I led Casey to Shelley, it was love, the condition of Shelley's heart, that caused Shelley to trust the message and come to me for affirmation of the truth. Now, we are moments away from our joyful union, and I must address an issue of gross behavior that I am witnessing in the body of Christ. I see blasphemy occurring. This is an unpardonable sin. Unpardonable sin. 
Father tenders immediate judgment. I have seen and heard comments from born-again believers that are irrevocable. Once one of the flock releases words coming against the work of the Holy Spirit and the words of the Father and my words, you have committed the unpardonable sin. I and Father are one. The words delivered by Casey are divinely imparted. To state it is a lie, is an error that can not, can not be retracted. To the remainder of the flock, learn, learn from this terrible and tragic reality playing out before your eyes. My bride, do not give in to the deceit of the devil. Your adversary will use emotion to steal crowns. Come to me always. Do not react to fleshly emotion. I can restore you in the spirit. Look upon the flowers. I bring my lovely bride. Yield only to the truth. Time for giving in to the tired tactics of Satan are over. Many have come to hear the last two messages delivered at Servant Warriors. Father is ready to deliver messages to those in the flock who are weighed in his scales and found wanting. Father is sending personal messengers to enact his verdict of judgment or his admonishment. It is so. Father can hear prayer of the bride. You are commended for loving your enemy and remaining calm and caring toward the less savory behaviors on display. Continue to press in to me and Father. Put all fleshly carnal acts under your feet in me. I stand with a heavenly army ready to heed the final call of Father to fetch my bride upon the calling of the dead in Christ. Be ready, my loves. Stay ever so kind and rebuke any doubts or fear. Call on me. I answer my bride all the way. Pray for repentance in one another. Pray for the total fulfillment of this appointed time. My love is unending. Your bridegroom, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Stop time, 8.20 p.m. That stopped on 8.58, which means to come. <laughs> Here are your beautiful flowers, bride. Be encouraged. I got something to show you of what the Lord showed me today. So, family... The Lord is showing me to dance, okay? Family dance off, okay? Dance, dance, dance. And above it was Master Teacher, the eyes of your heart. He showed me Guy Starts Dance Party, <laughs> okay? He shows me a cruise ship, the Ark of Jesus, destinations. The escape sequence, okay. He shows me warrior dance. 
he shows me American Bandstand. You can dance to it. Um, that old dance show, y'all know if if you're old enough. <laughs> I am, unfortunately. I remember American Bandstand, dance off competitions, and family. You got to see this gorilla doing this dance. It's amazing. Uh, if I had more memory on the phone, I would play it for you. But you can look up the gorilla dancing. It was from five years ago, which is for Grace. And the number 22 was on it. Many applications for these numbers. But 22, Revelation 22. And time, like time is up. Dance, bride, dance. And above it was the number 17. <laughs> so... I thought I would share that with you. He's on the way. So let's be praying all that the Lord asked us to pray and continue to pray for the heart of the bride to pierce the heart of the prideful as well and uh, be lifting each other up, family, for strength and peace and, you know, the good stuff. Oh, he also gave me this verse. Be watchful, stand firm in the faith, act like men, be strong, let all that you do be done in love. And he showed me love hearts, most beloved. And we are in the last hour. We're in the last hour. Oh, lastly, family, I'm going to share this most important confirmation that the bridegroom is arriving it has a couple of applications um one personal and, and one for all of us the bridegroom comes Two, two, three for Flame of God family. This was on the third at 8.05, which is also 5.08 for the upper room right after uploading uh, words from Father and Lord Jesus. So that's all I have for you guys. I love y'all. God bless you. I'll see you soon.